on the southern tip of Vancouver Island is the home port of the Royal Canadian Navy's Pacific Fleet. With a naturally deep and well-protected harbor, Canadian Forces Base Esquimalt has been an important military site since the mid-19th century. To enable operations at sea, the Royal Canadian Navy ships are backed up on shore by physical infrastructure at the dockyard. And to keep up with the times, two of the operational jetties will be demolished and replaced. Base Commander Steve Waddell so I'm actually standing here on A Jetty now and just uh, beyond out of the camera view is uh, B Jetty. Both of them were built about 70 years ago, right around in the Second World War. So it represents about 70 years that these jetties have been here and they've given us noble service over this time, but uh, they're showing their age and it's time to see replacement. The Royal Canadian Navy's modern ships need an equally modern naval infrastructure. You'll see in behind me is HMC's Vancouver, one of our Halifax class. Their tonnage represents about twice that of their predecessors that used to berth here before. So we need to make sure that we have both the load capacity and certainly the water depth and any of the other berth requirements for the rest of the ships in the harbor here uh, in this area here, both at A and B jetty. And so this infrastructure project will help us deliver that support that's necessary for the fleet. We're positioned right now approximately to the extent of where the new B jetty will end up. So. As you can see, overall we're increasing the length of the jetty significantly. For B jetty, the total length of its longest uh, dimension is 274 meters, and A jetty is 305 meters. Overall, that's going to provide an additional 33% berthing space over what they have now. Larger capacity, rail-mounted cranes similar to this one on C jetty will replace the existing A and B jetty cranes. As part of our design planning, uh, we looked at the condition of the existing cranes, and in terms of their useful life, they're essentially at the end of that, and they won't meet the new operational needs of the Navy. Implementation work on the AB Jetty project started in 2012 with Phase 1, the construction of a half-kilometer underground tunnel running through the center of the dockyard, equipped with new service mains and telecommunication cabling, ending just above the B Jetty foreshore. We'll put a lot of thought into this, and for the first contract of Phase 2, we'll demolish B Jetty. Then we'll dredge the seabed and complete all site prep work. While this activity is going on, the contractor will be responsible to maintain existing services as we extend the existing utility corridor down to the shoreline. In order to put the new portions of the tunnel in place and straighten the access roads, the existing oily wastewater treatment plant holding tanks will be moved to a temporary location. As well, we'll be realigning the road, changing its slope, and building a new jetty services building. About two years worth of demolition, dredging, and site preparation will take place with the first contract. Then, a second contract will be put out to tender to finish Phase 2 by constructing B Jetty, and then move on to the full implementation of Phase 3 with the demolition and construction of A Jetty.